Are you afraid of losing control of the AGI itself? As a lot of uh, people who worried about existential risk, not because of state actors, not because of security concerns, but because of the AI itself. That is not my top worry. As I currently see things, there have been times I worried about that more. There may be times, again, in the future, where that's my top worry. It's not my top worry right now. What's your intuition about it not being your worry? Because there's a, a lot of other stuff to worry about, essentially. You think you could be surprised? We for sure could be surprised. Like saying it's not my top worry doesn't mean I don't think we need to, like I think we need to work on it super hard. We have and we have great people here who do work on that. It's I think there's a lot of other things we also have to get right. To you, it's not super easy to escape the box at this time. Like connect to the internet. You know, we like talked about theatrical risks yeah. earlier. Mm -hmm. That's a theatrical risk. Like that that is a that is a thing that can really like take over how people think about this problem. And there's a big group of like uh, very smart, I think very well-meaning AI safety researchers that got super hung up on this one problem. I'd argue without much progress, but super hung up on this one problem. I'm actually happy that they do that because I think we do need to think about this more. But I think it pushed aside, it pushed out of the space of discourse a lot of the other very significant AI-related risks.